Coming up ahead in this episode of X Talk Spotlight. By digitizing, by taking the original information and, and digitizing it straight from the device, in this case, we're talking about, uh, say, a pH system. Uh, let's say it's an automated system. So that information is Im Im automatically and immediately transferred to the digital system, to the customer's uh, DCS, which then satisfies the FDA 21 CFR Part 11 requirement, which is critical for audit trail. Hello, and welcome to X Talk Spotlight, illuminating insights from subject matter experts and industry thought leaders. I'm Sonia Hunt. In this episode, we're exploring an important question about pharmaceutical liquid analytics. In this digital age, why are we still recording pH data on paper? There are several benefits to digitizing audit trails in pharmaceutical liquid analytics, some of which include meeting FDA data accuracy and security standards, and the ability to provide reliable compliance assurance. In this XTalk Spotlight edition, I sat down with Ron Bridges, Business Development Manager at M4 CNIC, to learn more about streamlining compliance and data integrity in regulated production environments. During our discussion, Ron also highlighted the essentials of audit trail digitization for key parameters like pH, oxidation reduction potential, conductivity, and dissolved oxygen. Thank you for taking the time for the Spotlight interview, Ron. You're very welcome, thank you. So to start us off, why would you want to digitize audit trail for liquid analytics? As you can imagine, there's many reasons why someone want, would want to digitize, which historically has been a very manual process and manual in the sense that whenever these pieces of data are captured, uh, they're written down. And then at that point, that data is a lot of times transferred to a digital system, but you've got transcription errors that can creep into uh, that information. So we're all human. So as that information is transferred, sometimes the data can be put in the wrong order, very innocent, but it can have a huge impact on that customer, especially when the time comes for an FDA audit. So they're going to see that data and that data will be inaccurate. So of course that creates delays in, in things like investigations, audits, things of that nature. By digitizing, by taking the original information and, and digitizing it straight from the device, in this case, we're talking about uh, say a pH system, uh, let's say it's an automated system. So that information is Im Im automatically and immediately transferred to the digital system, to the customer's uh, DCS, which then satisfies the FDA 21 CFR Part 11 requirement, which is critical for audit trail. And what are the options to digitize audit trail? So there are a few ways to digitize it. Um, one is integrated systems. And so, you know, from the M4 Connect standpoint, that would be something we would look at uh, being part of the system. So whether it's spectrometers, chromatography systems, or automated pH maintenance systems, having an integrated method to transfer that data as it's created in the original form to the customer's uh, uh, DCS, let's say, that's one way to do it. There's also cloud-based systems, and, and that could also be looked at as integrated in a sense, but cloud-based systems, one of the benefits to that, uh, as well as sometimes integrated systems, is that if there's a problem with the piece of hardware, the data doesn't get lost if the hardware fails. The data is protected and retrievable in the cloud-based system or DCS. Then there's also which some customers will do this uh, due, to, due to cost, is they'll take and buy a piece of software that will be between the hardware and the customer's DCS system, if, if that's what we're talking about as a, a DCS, a PLC, or some other piece of uh, equipment, and it will act as the transfer of the data. So those are three of the most common ways to go about it. Could you tell us about the depth of information you can get out of a fully digitized audit trail? This is a really interesting aspect of the individual manufacturers that are out there and their piece of equipment and what level of de detail they can provide in their audit trail. Now, of course, there's basic information uh, that is captured and the FDA requires. Uh, 
information on the user. So access is only allowed to certain people and that's protected. So they always know who is interfacing with the piece of equipment, uh, which also comes with a timestamp. So of course they wanna know when a certain thing occurred because time is critical because that goes into the history and then they can go back at, if they need to do an investigation and see the sequence of events. Uh, what has changed, of course, uh, did someone uh, do a calibration incorrectly, that's going to be captured in the audit trail uh, information. That directly affects the quality and the in uh, the quality of the product being manufactured in the facility. Um, essentially, event tracking. So as these things occur, this information is all being captured in a non-alterable method, so that. Uh, even accidentally, the information can't be changed. So, of course, uh, you don't want somebody going in there and, and changing something after the fact. Once it's captured, it's completely frozen, and uh, an FDA auditor, per se, can come in and look at that and understand that that's actual information. Now, what does the FDA look for in an audit trail? And what assurance does digitization provide them? From an FDA standpoint, uh, data integrity is one of the, the, the big things they're looking for. And of course, data integrity uh, implies and, and requires that the data, the original data that we captured is what they're viewing uh, if they have to take a look at that uh, audit trail information. Um, the next thing which feeds into data integrity is security. Are only the people that are supposed to be interfacing with these technologies, the ones that are actually being recorded in the audit trail. So of course, that's a very important thing because if they need to ask someone a question, they know exactly who to go to. So that makes it much easier for the auditor as well, uh, which goes really into traceability. So of course, if you can identify the individual and what was taking place, that adds to or enhances the traceability of the information. Really, uh, you know, this usually audit trail is something that's reviewed after the fact. So reviewability, making it easier for the auditor and the customer, because this isn't just for the auditor who comes in and looks at the data. The end user, if they have the ability to review it efficiently and it's, it's uh, clear, that makes what they do much more efficient as they move forward as well. And to wrap up, what value does a digitized audit trail provide to the production floor? I'd say uh, the first thing is uh, efficiency because, again, as we said in the beginning of this, historically it's a manual, has been very manual in documenting the information uh, to satisfy the audit trail. By digitizing this, now what you've done is you've taken that human who normally would do this and you've taken them out of that uh, equation, if you will, the information is automatically captured in the pure form. It's put into the system. It's uh, unalterable, but you don't have to have a person in the middle of the system to get that information from point A to point B. So as you can imagine, uh, what, again, a manual process historically can all but be completely eliminated from a, the human standpoint, which goes back to why people want uh, to automate if they can because of that human error component. Um, another reason from a uh, production standpoint is the real-time visibility of the information because the way we've done it and many of our uh, companies out there is the customer can view that information in real time. So they can catch things as they occur. So that's another benefit from a production standpoint, uh, which then leads to error reduction. So now as you see what's taking place in the audit trail, you can catch that in real time. And then of course that helps you uh, to make corrections when needed to avoid something that could directly impact the quality of the product. Well, thank you very much, Ron, for speaking with us today. We really appreciate your time and insights. Well, I enjoyed it. Uh, appreciate you having me. Thank you very much. We look forward to learning more about M4 Knick's work in pharmaceutical liquid analytics. Thank you all for joining us for this X-Talk Spotlight feature. We hope you enjoyed the discussion.